What's up, money lovers? Welcome back. So just want to do a quick update on Home Depot stock. They reported earnings this morning, and it was a pretty good report. They beat earnings, brought in earnings per share of $3.92 versus $3.40 was the estimate. So far beat expectations, and yet here the stock is. It was down as much as 10 or 11% a little earlier, just uh, based on you know all this crazy stuff going on in the world, the Ukraine crisis, as well as the fear of these rate hikes. But I just want to do a quick breakdown of the earnings report and let you guys know what I think and if I'm buying. So sales were up year over year. They hit this milestone of $150 billion in sales for the fiscal year 2021. They also announced that they're hiking their dividend by 15%. So the quarterly dividend will now be $1.90 per share or an annual dividend of $7.60 per share. Definitely great news for dividend investors who own this stock. And this will also be their 140th consecutive quarter that the company has paid a dividend. Now, if you head over to dividend.com, you can see that this dividend is very stable with lots of room to growth with 13 years of consecutive dividend increases. And the payout ratio sits around 37% right now. So lots of room left to still grow that dividend in the years to come. And the yield sits just around 2% right now. So they gave very conservative guidance for 2022. And, you know, it's a theme we've been seeing playing out with many companies. Even big tech is not immune from the reckoning, it seems, we're getting in 2022 here. So they're estimating sales growth and comparable sales to be slightly positive. Operating margin will be flat and their earnings per share growth to be low single digits. So obviously to Home Depot this year operating off of a lot of tailwinds with people stuck home with the pandemic took on a lot of home improvement projects. And so probably some of that will die down as everyone returns to, you know, somewhat normalcy company that with rate hikes and the cost of materials just going up and up with all these inflation issues. So they're playing it safe here, which is smart. And if we just take a quick look at their balance sheet here, so net sales, 150 billion for 2021 versus 130 billion for 2020, a 14% increase in sales. The gross profit was also up about 13%. So they also bought back some shares, which is great to see, reduced the outstanding shares by almost 2%. Customer transactions remained pretty constant, although customers were spending a pretty significant amount more, almost 12% more per average ticket. So it went from $74 in the prior year to $83. So about a 12% increase there. Now this company is pretty well capitalized, 71 billion in total assets. They do have a good amount of long-term debt, 36 billion in long-term debt. That's slightly increased uh, year over year. That's definitely something to keep an eye on, but you know, Home Depot, very well managed company, great performance over the last five years, 117% return. And just over time, just keeps going up and to the right. Home Depot is really a staple company. And it's one that I've had on my watch list for a long time. And I consider buying from time to time, but I have not yet pulled the trigger because just when I look at it and I see what you get here, I do just for the time being end up deferring to a VYM, Vanguard high dividend yield index which I haven't purchased yet but this is another one I'm considering buying um, I'm gonna make a video going into more depth on this in the future so if you're interested in that definitely don't forget to subscribe but with VYM you get a higher dividend yield and Home Depot is actually the third largest holding but you get much more diversity you know as you can see here the top 10 holdings lots of diversity and it's something that I would buy as a safety play just to get some income going and decrease the volatility, get me some exposure outside of tech. So let me know what you think of Home Depot in the comments below. Are you buying? Why, why not? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Vinny from The Investment Club and I'll see you next time.